But good evening and welcome to a a Tech Talk Tuesday that's gonna get aired on Wednesday, but this is much more of um, a bike race tech talk. So it's not tech about bikes, it's tech about cross races, and the cross race that I'm referring to is Cyclocross Nationals in Reno, Nevada. I've been fielding a lot of questions, flights and uh, location and what the track is like and conditions and all kinds of things, so I figured let's just pull them all put them into a video and wrap a little bit about what's gonna be happening the second weekend in January. So let's get started. First topic, the whole idea of getting here. So getting here, I've been asked, should I fly to Sacramento? Should I fly to Reno? If you're coming from out of state, you're gonna to wanna to find a Reno. You can find a SAC, it might be cheaper, you can rent a car, drive up, do that whole thing. But based on last winter, uh, we had a real rough go after December. It hit hard, uh, it closed down the pass, and it definitely made uh, traveling that direction very difficult. Uh, I don't need to explain more of the detail, but you might get caught out if you're here in Sacramento driving up. I'm definitely gonna be kind of a on the ready, get up there like Wednesday, Thursday. If it looks like there's gonna be some storms coming in, we're gonna be changing the, uh, the travel itinerary to get up there earlier. Don't fly to Sacramento if you're putting all your eggs into one basket and you're not local. If you're gonna be flying in, that's a bad, bad thing. Fly into Reno spend the extra hundred bucks, it's, it's gonna be worth it. Number two, race conditions, right? So what are the conditions gonna be like? It literally could be anything. I've spent a good chunk of time, I've got a lot of friends in Reno that we grew up racing with through this exact period of time post Christmas. I rode in everything from 70 in sun down to 10 degrees in ice. So it's the eastern side of the Sierras. They're not gonna get as much snow as you would on the western side but you're gonna have some cold temps. It's the desert, uh, you never know what might happen, but it could be warm, it could be dry, it could be wet, it could be snowing, uh, it could be 70 degrees, it could be 10 degrees. So come prepared if you're gonna be flying out here with all your stuff, just go prepared. You, you never know what you might have yet again. Uh, better to come prepared and not need it than not have it when you actually need it. Next up, location of the race. So as you can find out online, it's in Rancho Santa Fe Park. Uh, this was the location for Cross Reno uh, last year and the year before. However, it's not the same location of the race. If you raced Cross Reno, if you remember where the sand pit was and the track was kind of below that sand pit, from what I understand and talking with the guys who are promoting the race, the sand pit is the lowest portion of the race and it's all kind of on the other side of the park. So it's not gonna go through the whole fairgrounds, it's not gonna go up on the hillside there. Uh, it's got some grass, it's got some hard packed dirt, got some decomposed granite, a little bit of sand. Um, it should be a super fun track. These guys know how to put on cross races. They know what a proper cross race should be. So expect uh, an awesome track. Course conditions, uh, again, could be fast, could be dry, could be wet, could be sloppy, could be muddy. You never know. Uh, I would like to say, if you're in town and you're a coffee junkie, you gotta go see my boys at the Hub. Uh, Hub Coffee Roasters right on the river. Uh, they've got a few locations around town, one by the university, one downtown. Please stop in, make sure you see them. I grew up racing with Mark and Joe and all those guys, uh, and they make some fantastic, fantastic coffee. You know me and my coffee, and these guys crush it. The Hub Roasters, go check them out. Um, let me get you the address actually real quick. I'll put it in the link in the description below too. Hub Coffee Roasters on Riverside Drive. Bam, 727 Riverside Drive. And check this out. So Rancho Sanderfell Park. It's 1.5 miles from the race. So Hub Coffee Roasters, Riverside Drive, go check them out. Make sure you ask for Mark or Joe. Hopefully they're there uh, and they'll get you dialed. Tell them I sent you through the vlog. You never know, it might actually work. It's not sponsored, not paid. You're gonna love it. If you have any other questions about Reno that I hopefully can answer for you, let me know below. Drop a little note, let me see, uh, leave a comment, let me know if I can uh, find out. I might even be able to find out if I don't know, but I, I might know off the top of my head too. So those are a couple of quick talking points about Reno. This is gonna be a short video. Let me, uh, let me get caught up. I'm falling behind on these bad boys. It's been busy, but still having fun, still riding bikes, and always still vlogging. Thank you for staying tuned in. As always, we will see you tomorrow. It's gonna be sweet. That's gonna be it for the day, over and out.